Showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. And welcome to the SEC on ESPN. The Bronze Barkley out in front of Auburn Arena here in Auburn, Alabama. And it is the 163rd meeting, the Crimson Tide and the Tigers. Beth Bowens and Dan Dockich with you. And how about the start for Alabama, Dan? 3-0 in the SEC, the best. should solve that as a point guard. Turnovers, a problem. Well, I think we'll get a much better feel for Cooper in the second half. After he breaks out of a sweat, but has a nice... The Canadian nice had that one swatted. Good dish inside the wraparound for Cooper. And out of Anchorage. Uh, the training table, the weight room should be kind to him. And it's been quite a journey from Nebraska to Alaska to West Virginia to Georgia. And now starting out in college with Bruce Pearl here at Auburn. We talk about Cooper. I've only talked about him offensively, but right there he got after it defensively. He's struggling to score as he should, but if he can get himself going defensively, the offense will come. And Cooper and one off the window. You know, we forget, whenever a great high school player comes into college, we always talk about the offense. Well, he caused a strip, and I think that got him a little comfortable, and now you see he goes and gets himself an old-fashioned three-point play. Shackleford, the open three. Four, weak side, and here comes Cooper with the push to the left side and in. Cooper directing traffic, trying to wrap it. Second chance, got it. Yes. That was Bruner, the kid who transferred from Yale. Everybody wanted that kid, but the thing I like about Bruner, he just kind of is calm. You know, you can tell he's an older guy. They are losing. Side of the rim, and Petty just cut right in front of him for a layup. Set a couple screens and Cooper didn't see it and Jones dunked it with his forehead. That was some serious elevation. Cooper able to split the double on the oop of his own to Cambridge. Cooper split the double is two tough teams. Cooper just cleared the way for Jones. You gotta foul him, knock him down, do something. He's got fouls to give. He'll try the 15 footer and run him down. Gotta get in Primo's hand every time they're in half court. Here we go. Here is Cooper to the left into the lane. Count it. All right, a lot of guys say keep your eyes on the rim when you go to the basket. That's fine, but this kid, great players keep their chins on the rim. Watch Cooper's chin as he plays through contact here. See how he keeps his chin up? Here's the difference. Look at, you can see the back of his head go up when he's able to play through contact because he really... Petty? Been quiet so far today, and the breakout here for... Now, you're playing in the biggest rivalry, and Primo looks like he's 28 years old playing. He has been solid so far. Oh, oh, the receiving oh. end from Cooper with the, the blow by. And had to try and get it up high because of the shot blockers and missed it. Cardwell, look at the big fellow running the floor, give him the bucket. The reason I said earlier, possession, bad shot, take a forced one, is what you just saw. Reese hits the shot. Look at this. There's no reason not to drive the ball. In a year, the postseason self-imposed ban, the NCAA is still looking into assistant coach Chuck Person. Ongoing investigation. Cooper stayed in the play to get the steal. Behind the back for Cambridge. 
Reese and then Reese was there to make it. Or an and one. Watch this. He's back. He's running. He gets to a spot. Squares his shoulders. Gets his hands up. And the ball. It's uh, been seesaw since. The uh, three-pointer count is up to 47. But I think both coaches. Bruce Pearl, he inverted. Now, he make Flanagan get on the block against a guy in Ellis who is not used to playing on the block. Flanagan really comfortable down there. Ellis. Looking for the consistency now from Primo day in and day out. Cooper fouled on the drive. Josh had 11 against Tennessee, but then was really good. There was help. Could be that he's still working. 1,800 strong with us, but not enough to deny the tide in the baseline drive. Cooper, nice move. And fouled from behind by Ellis. Ellis. If, he's, if there's a ball screen. Fourth foul now on Ellis, so he joins Petty and trying to continue what has been their best SEC start in 34 years. 3-0 alone atop the standings. And Cooper one handed up and under. What he does is do right. He just does right in a basketball game. Got a couple of triples now and a couple of digits. How about this? You get a big on it. Bruner's trying too much. Now look, if Cooper's going to beat you with this, then so be it. I mean, that's good defense. Nothing you can do. All right, you got to keep Cooper in front of you, period. He's only one of five from outside the arc. Jones is trying to muscle him. This is personal now with Jones, right? Which is cool, but you can't put him on the line for two. But to make him shoot over you. Getting the start today. Amazing how the ball fake and the head fake still works after oh. all these years, huh? Show the ball. That's the second time that Herb is whistled. 23. Does the tide go for, uh, let's see, what's that, a sixth national? Another opportunity, Bruner, no. And finally, Auburn clears. Here comes Cooper. On the break and the Points, six rebounds for Bruner. Cooper, the hesitation, finds four! It's been a couple of freshmen coming up huge, Dan. Oh, watch how he hesitated. See how he hesitated right there? And when the defense raises up, he explodes. And four, right there. Oh, man. Cooper has terrific eyes. Cooper uses the screen. There's and Alabama's got it. That's what I'm saying. You keep Cooper in front, you give him room, make him shoot that. Oh, and then they lost it. Cooper makes a play. Deep three. Air ball. Three unless it's wide open. But you gotta go. You gotta go. Williams back to Cooper. And it's taken away. John Petty with the steal. And Primo. Woo, blocked by Flanagan. Terrible standing outside. Loose ball on the deck. Four at the buzzer. And Alabama improves to 4-0. and oh. And they hang on to beat Auburn 94-90. The switch of Petty on to Cooper late was a huge decision. You're not kidding. And Cooper uh, could not get past Petty. And Bruner, the graduate transfer, was sensational in this game defensively.